All right, we're out in the shop uh, this afternoon with Clay. Clay's got a little project uh, that he's working on, and he's about to uh, do some uh, serious body panel removal on his Chevy truck. I'm going to let him explain what's going on. I'm going to take my bed off. That's why I got it underneath this, this chain hoist here. I'm going to take the bed off. You got your chain hoist hooked to the, to the top right. of the shop. Yeah. Okay. A little bit off. How much does this bed weigh? I got one pound, so nice. Are you guessing? So if it's like a thousand pounds and the shop comes down on us? Yeah, I doubt it. You doubt it? I doubt it. So why are you taking the bed off your uh, your truck, Clay? I'm going to put a gooseneck hitch in it, so we so got a 24 foot long gooseneck uh, trailer. Right there in the middle, so you got to get the bed off to get to the frame? Yeah. All right. And you're going to use that chain hoist to pick it up. Well, considering the fact that we built this shop and put that beam up, I'm willing to bet that uh, it'll hold the weight of this bed, no problem. So have you got all your bolts out of it? There you go. Dixie, what are you doing climbing in the cabinet? There you go. Huh? It's getting there though. Crawl under there and undo it. Whoops. That axle line, the it's vent for his tight. axle tube is pulled a little tight. Just cut it. Put a new one on it. Uh, tell him, Dixie. said, just get under there and cut it, Bubba. Just tell him, Dixie. Tell him. Say, go cut it, Bubba. Wow. That's an old... Old rubber hose, isn't it, girl? Isn't it, huh? Huh? Is he doing it right? Oh, I just broke the cat. Oh, did I take the one off the dually? No, this is a special cap. It's got this big old giant thing on there. Well, you got time to get your new one. Broken filler cap. I bet you could fix it. I got your bed. You drive it on out. We're good.
Still got the old OD green paint on the bed, or the back of the cab. Where the front of the bed kept it from getting painted. He's going to mount his hitch right in there once he gets done making it. That's good. That's good. You're perfect. Yeah, you're good. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Right on there. Keep going. Oh, that is awesome. Now, I've never taken a square body bed off, but I took the bed off my 89 Chevy I had. It wasn't this easy. Matter of fact, you were about... Oh, I remember. I think you were about five or six. I was older than that because remember I was running the power drum cleaning up the frame. That's right. You weren't much older than that. You may have been seven. Okay, well, you let a little kid run from the power. That's all right. You did great. You cleaned that frame up good. Uh, that was just experience so you can clean the frame up on your truck. But uh, we used an engine hoist to lift that, that bed off. And I put it on sawhorses in the garage. But that bed wasn't as heavy as this bed is. I wouldn't climb in it, it's liable to do a wheelie. I'm gonna get you wanna know what I'm impressed with? Is that the bear tracker is now up and running. And I mean, it still needs some new tires. It needs the rims cleaned back up, but it's great. And I just noticed it has the winch on the front. Look at there. Look at that. Our really uh, straight board sticks out a little far. Hey, uh, get the saw out of the Ryobi bag and put a battery on it. It'll cut it. While we're waiting for clay, show you a new Petcock on the gas tank. It's got a brand new carburetor on it. Uh, he put a new starter clutch in it so that the starter will actually engage and crank the motor over. Oh, had to break out the John Deere. Yeah, it's got no gas. A little gas. Didn't know a welder could work a chainsaw. There's all the straps. You think you can park it back where it was? 
Hey, do you want to do you want to put a couple straps over it just in case we get some heavy wind or something? I don't want my bed. My bed's beat up, but I don't want to be more beat up than what it is. Hey, you like the bottom? We'll try. Oh, that's perfect. Hey, you got that hitch down good? Clay, is that a two inch ball on there or one of seven eighths? Hey, stop for a second. Let me get off. Okay. 